What's up guys, Cartoon Cory here, and can you believe that I found this mistake in this episode of Spongebob? Like, how did this even make it onto TV, dude? You guys know the drill, we're gonna be exposing a bunch of these types of mistakes today, so let's get right into it, Grapple Gang, let's do this. Hey Squidward. Okay, I'll buy. What is it, Spongebob? Today's the beginning of the judging for Employee of the Month. First up, we've got a banger. I love starting these videos off with like classic episodes, because let's be real, Spongebob season one one, two, and three, kind of four are like the best seasons. So obviously, Employee of the Mum is up there as one of my favorite episodes. Even an episode like this though has mistakes and let's expose them. Here's the first mistake, guys. Roll that clip. He can't go to work if he doesn't wake up. <laughs> Did you guys catch it? Because this one's really bad. And to be honest, I've covered this episode multiple times on the channel before, and I've never caught this one. But in the shot you guys just saw, where Squidward is like brushing his teeth, if we look at him in the mirror, all right, we're looking at the reflection of Squidward in the mirror, we can see that Squidward's nose goes over top of the bubbles, okay? The bubbles for brushing his teeth. That's how the reflection looks. But if we look at Squidward, like the actual version of Squidward, we can see that the animators messed up because those bubbles are in front of his nose. Remember, in the reflection, the bubbles are behind his nose. So like real life Squidward, the bubbles should also be behind his nose, but they're in front. So really weird mistake right here. I definitely rambled and over explained it, but you guys get it now. And here's another mistake from the same episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> money gonna make some money. <laughs> Ah, worms me wanted to see me employees coming in so early. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for this one, we need to go back a little bit, all right? We're gonna go to any random episode of SpongeBob and take a look at the doors of the Krusty Krab. And what we'll notice is that the handles to these doors are always like gold or brown, all right? They're always this color right here. Here's even another example of it from another episode. Well, in Employee of the Month, when Squidward and SpongeBob barge into the Krusty Krab when they're racing near the ending of the episode, look, look at the handles of the Krusty Krab doors. They are completely incorrect. They're for some reason like clear and see-through or transparent. When, as I already showed you guys, they're supposed to be gold or brown. This mistake has never happened since, and just, yeah, it's kind of a funny mistake. I'm totally a nerd for even catching it, but yeah, totally a mistake, and stay tuned, guys, because the mistakes are going to get crazier as we go. Let's head over to our next episode. Hey, hey son! Ma? Pa? How could you afford this ridiculous monstrosity? Me won the lottery! <laughs> So we move to the big city, just like our too fancy for pants son. We're heading over to modern SpongeBob with this next one, as it's a season 14 episode, meaning the episode has literally premiered in 2024. It's a new one, but that ain't gonna stop me from exposing mistakes. I've already found one in this episode. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm sure you guys will be able to catch it. So, roll that clip. Us and clean us! Another surprise, please! Hey, woo, 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 woo. Did you guys catch it? Well, this is a classic mistake that I'm sure a lot of the Grapple Gang already knows what's coming, but canonically, all right, the Krusty Krab and Chum Bucket are directly across from each other on this street right here. And then this street breaks off into two paths, one path leading to the Krusty Krab and the other path leading to the Chum Bucket, as you can see in the clips I just showed you. Here's another example of this. And to really show you guys, I'm not like exaggerating. Here's another example of this. The Krusty Krab and Chum Bucket are directly across from one another. Well, in Blood is thicker than grease. At the very end of the episode, we get a shot where we should be able to see the Krusty Krab, but it's just blatantly missing from across the street. Like, how does this happen? The animators just completely forgot to draw the Krusty Krab, making for a minor, but at least very funny mistake. And there's plenty more where that came from, guys. The mistakes coming up are even worse than this one, so stay tuned. Let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. Let's go, Grapple Gang. Wanna go for a bike ride through Jellyfish Fields? You bet your square pants I do! <laughs> I love bike riding. Next up is the episode Ride Patrick Ride, which is all about Patrick learning how to ride a bike. He isn't very good at it at first, but he eventually gets pretty good. Here's some clips from the episode, really funny. I can teach you how to be an expert bicyclist. Oh, nice! <laughs> That'll make 
make you a little more stable. <laughs> That's what my psychiatrist says. <laughs> Time to check under the hood. <laughs> Just as I thought, your brain's a bit unbalanced. I'm so happy we have some time to ourselves, Puffykins. You know, of all people, I don't think SpongeBob should have been the one trying to teach Patrick how to ride anything, considering this dude can't even ride a boat. I know he can ride a bike in the episode, but SpongeBob, you're not a very good teacher. Anyways, though, let's get into the first mistake from this episode. This one is very easy to miss, and I'm very proud of myself for finding it. Roll the footage. So as you can see in this scene where Spongebob and Patrick are pumping up the tires to Patrick's bike inside Spongebob's house, Patrick's bike, the handles, right, have these like ribbons or beamers coming out of it, right? These stringy things coming out. It's red. It's right here. I'm circling it. Remember this, as during this scene where Patrick is getting a key from City Hall due to saving a bunch of people, it's so funny, those ribbons are not on the handles of his bike. And the reason this is really a mistake is seconds later in this same scene, scene. Look, he has the ribbons in this scene, the lady with the keys right beside him. But if we rewind for just a couple of seconds in this shot where it's zoomed out, he doesn't have the ribbons on his handles. So they're there in this shot, but in this shot, they're not there making for a really weird mistake. I'm so proud of myself for catching this one. That's not it for this episode though. Here's the other mistake. You need something to help you focus. Way ahead of you. Hmm. Brain is just too full of unimportant knowledge. Yeah, it is pretty jam-packed. So as you can see here, this is how Conch Street looks, right? Okay, the iconic street where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward live. And right beside SpongeBob's house is Squidward's house, right? As you can see in this shot. But in this episode, Ride Patrick Ride, whenever we get this view of SpongeBob's house, um, where is Squidward's house? I guess you could say it's farther to the left, but I mean, just look at some of these shots of Conch Street. No, it's directly to the left of SpongeBob's. So it should be visible in this shot, but I feel like the animators were just feeling kind of lazy and it would have been a lot more work to draw it. So they just didn't draw it, but whatever, mistakes happen. Let's keep it moving and head over to another episode with some wild mistakes. Trust me guys, you'll want to stay tuned. Watch and witness one of the rarest and mysterious rituals of the deep, the Staring Contest. Up next is the season seven episode, Rodeo Days, an episode where SpongeBob has to save Sandy. But what I'm gonna do is save you guys from watching the episode and just show you the mistakes. Here's the first one. Sandy! No, oh, it's not opening. Hey, SpongeBob, I have something that might help. How to open things. Now, this one is very hard to catch. You gotta pay close attention, okay? But after SpongeBob says, It's not opening. There is a white spot that flashes for a split second under his right arm. Not that big of a deal, I'll admit, but it's still there and it's still a bit of an animation mistake. A very forgivable one, but hey, it's still a mistake. And guys, there's one more in this episode, but stay tuned as the next episode has a wild mistake. Where the devil are we? It's Texas. Ahoy, Sandy! <gasps> Watch out! That old bullfrog's got a flea on its flanks and he's coming right at you! Did we say Sandy? No, Patrick. Did we make any money? No. This one is just like really funny, okay? So hear this one out. As we've seen in the episode, SpongeBob and all of these sea creatures are not able to breathe in Texas because they're sea creatures. They need to be in water or they die. I mean, we even see what happens to them in Tea at the Tree Dome with Sandy when SpongeBob and Patrick go in the tree dome without helmets. They like almost die. This is a big part of SpongeBob lore or canon, but if you watch the episode Rodeo Days, SpongeBob and all of the sea creatures, despite not 
being able to breathe in Texas just continue to live their lives normally as if there's nothing wrong. These guys would die. But anyways, let's head over to another episode, guys. These upcoming mistakes are going to blow your mind. Hey, Sandy, watch me do the grouchy Squidward. Stop naming moves after me. Everybody's an idiot except for me. Well, it's true. Oh boy, another season three episode. I love season three, probably my favorite season in SpongeBob. And here's the mistake, keep those eyes peeled. The episode is I had an accident. Chip, would you mind showing these two to the door? Thank you, Chip. <laughs> I guess I'll have to find a new best friend. Yeah, so I don't know how this happened. I don't know what was going on at the SpongeBob animation offices that day, but when Patrick closes SpongeBob's door, his arm goes right through it. And I don't think that's supposed to happen. What that looks like to me is an animation mistake. Hey, it happens. But yeah, we're going to keep it moving and head over to another episode with some insane mistakes. But a quick reminder, make sure to subscribe as I respond to the comments of all subscribers. So right now, if you subscribe and comment, I'll for sure respond in the next two days. So do it. Click subscribe and comment right now. But let's head over to another episode. Who wants the first patty from our freshly cleaned grill? <laughs> I would like a Krabby Patty. Okay, how about you, Squid? No, I do not want a Krabby Patty. Are you sure? Don't touch me. The Main Drain is an interesting season seven episode. I mean, it's not a bad one. It's not a good one at the same time, but it does have two mistakes. Take a look at the first one. Nothing like a fresh frozen Krabby Patty with extra freezer burn flavor. There we go. Oh my stars and garters, the sink is clogged up. If you caught that one, I'm very proud of you, Grapple Gang. But take a look at this lever right here beside this freezer. Remember it as it disappears when SpongeBob puts the danger sign on the floor. First, it's there, as you can see here, but then when SpongeBob puts this danger sign down, it's just gone. Almost as if the animators forgot to draw it the second time. Pretty weird, but wait until you hear mistake number two. What? Well, the sink is clogged, so I was gonna pull out the drain plug. Stop messing with that drain plug! One sec. Time for a scary story, boys. And nobody was ever heard from again. Where is the main drain, Mr. Krabs? Mistake number two is just as weird. So when Mr. Krabs turns off the lights, there's this light switch right here on the left side, all right? As I always say, remember this as it's important to the mistake. This light switch is on the left side. But when Mr. Krabs eventually finishes his story, the light switch suddenly changes position. It switches to above SpongeBob, hanging on the ceiling. So yeah, very messy scene. It's not that big of a deal, and the mistakes I'm gonna be covering later on in this video are much better than this one, but it's still a mistake, guys. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Nap time's over, Squidward. Now what do you say we work real hard until Mr. Krabs comes back, hmm? Crabs is gone. Yep, and I'm in charge for the next 15 minutes. I've said this many times before, but SpongeBob season six has a lot of hit or miss episodes. And one of those episodes that's right in the middle, it's just mid, it ain't bad, it ain't good, is Gullible Pants. This episode does have some good in it, especially the dancing scenes of SpongeBob. So take a look at these really funny clips of SpongeBob dancing. And then it's time for some mistakes. Then we're gonna be exposing some mistakes, all right? Here's the funny clips though first. Come on, let's go. Right! You don't want to miss this. What's he doing? He's dancing. What the? SpongeBob dancing like a goofball? And a hey, and a ho. Me customers cowering in fear? And some stranger cooking Krabby Patties! Go SpongeBob, go SpongeBob, look at him dance, he's got the moves. All right, it's time for the mistakes, guys. Let's, let's do the mistakes. 151, 452, 453, 454.
This is one where you guys really need to pay attention for it to make sense. So, in the opening shot of the Krusty Krab dining area, we can see Incidental 114 right here. And my boy is dressed up in a light blue shirt, looking fresh, Incidental 114. But as the scene progresses moments later, when Mr. Krabs looks at the dining like a periscope, Incidental 114 has completely changed his drip and is now wearing like a brown green shirt. Then things get even more messy as it eventually returns to the light blue shirt and the shirt shot where Incidental 105 first appears. So some major continuity issues here. First dude is wearing a light blue shirt, then dude is wearing like a brown green shirt, and then it goes back to the light blue shirt. Like what? There's another one in this episode that's fairly common in Spongebob, so you guys should easily be able to catch this one. Roll the footage. You don't want to miss this! This one is a classic Spongebob mistake, so when Spongebob stops the customers with his awesome dancing, and when Mr. Krabs returns to see the Krusty Krab is ruined, normally the chum bucket is directly across from the Krusty Krab. It's been like this since season one, but in this shot of gullible pants, um, not only is the chum bucket, but also the path to the chum bucket, they're both missing from across the street. Which is totally, totally a mistake. It's a common mistake, but it's totally a mistake. Now, I've got more Spongebob for you guys, but yet know what time it is, it's time for the random mistake of the day, where we take a quick break from Spongebob to talk about mistakes in a random cartoon suggested by you guys. And then we go right back to Spongebob, don't worry, we're going right back to your favorite spongy boy. Today we're going to do Bluey, more specifically the episode Past the Parcel. For some context, this right here is a Chattermax, it's a toy that belongs to the character Pom Pom. The mistake revolves around this, okay? Roll the clip. Did you guys catch it? Well, in the final scene of Missy's party, it seems that Pom Pom's Chattermax is like misaligned. As if you look closely, it looks like she stuck her hand through the toy when she should just be holding it, making for a bit of a weird mistake, guys. Let me know if you want me to do more videos on Bluey and let me know what other cartoons you want me to cover in Random Cartoon of the Day. And let's head back over to good old fashioned SpongeBob. Sorry, Squidward, but you couldn't get in even if you tried. No, 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 stop. no, no, stop, see, stop see, you, can't, you join. can't join, can't join, you can't get in, <laughs> there's no room up here, that's what we've been trying to tell you, we've been stuck up here for three days, we're back to Spongebob, in the episode is Club Spongebob, all right, roll that footage and let's see if you guys can spot this mistake, pay attention to the character's arms, uh, hello there, magic conch, uh, I was wondering, uh, should I have the spaghetti or the turkey? Neither. Could I have something to eat? No. Can I have something to eat? No. Yeah, this one's a classic. We may have covered it before. I can't remember if we did, I'm sorry. But as you guys seen in those clips, Squidward is the one holding the magic conch shell. But when we get this zoomed in shot, why is his arm yellow? Yeah, this was a massive mistake. They incorrectly colored Squidward's arm as yellow. I guess they thought that SpongeBob was the one holding it, but no, it was Squidward and yeah, massive mistake. Now that's gonna do it for today's video grapple gang. But if you want more mistakes, click this video right here. It's literally over over an hour of Spongebob mistakes, so make sure to click it. And a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang and the Premiere Gang, I love you guys. Anyways though, I'll see you guys over on this video. Give it a click.